For 20 years, the Center for Comparative Medicine here at UC Davis has pioneered breakthroughs in human disease research. By embracing the concept of one medicine, our scientists strive to understand similarities between human and animal biology to tackle some of the deadliest infectious diseases of our time. We are researchers using basic science discoveries to bring innovative solutions to veterinarians and clinicians bringing together experts from the veterinary and medical schools, as well as the Primate Center. Our job is to learn something new every day, and we are passionate about passing this knowledge on to the next generation of scientists. We firmly believe that forging new paths to better health starts here at the research bench. The, the CCM is a unique center. Uh, the UC Davis campus is unusual and that has primate center, a vet school and a medical school, all on the same campus. And the CCM is the one entity that connects all three of those things together. UC Davis today opening a sophisticated new research center to investigate some of the most dangerous infectious diseases known to man. In the 1980s, UC Davis took the opportunity to expand animal model research for human and animal diseases, bringing together a multidisciplinary team of basic and clinical scientists in the veterinary and medical schools to become one of the first NIH-funded Center for AIDS Research. A gathering of researchers and scientists flowed inside to see the $15 million center. Inside are 15 laboratories where experts will study and experiment with bacteria, fungi, viruses, and retroviruses that cause chronic and dangerous diseases. It took the AIDS outbreak to focus energy on infectious disease and to allow our people like myself and others to come and show that this wasting disease called simian AIDS was indeed due to a retrovirus, lentivirus. That's how the CCM came to be. But all this was in the past was occurring that led to the monkey model that we were able to finally put the pieces together a decade later and show that, hey, this is, this is really AIDS like disease and it really is a virus like the human virus. This remarkable teamwork catalyzed the creation of the Center for Comparative Medicine. To date, this initiative has earned over $340 million of research funding, spawned 12 active research labs, and established one of the largest mouse biology programs in the world. 20 years later, we continue to advance immunology research and generate new insights into diseases like influenza, HIV, Zika, and Lyme disease. This knowledge is the foundation for the next generation of vaccines and therapeutics. The biggest impact that CCM has had has been expanding the universe of what we know about the interaction between pathogens and host. One of the biggest breakthroughs that scientists at CCM have found is a virus that infects many humans and um, doesn't cause much disease, actually regulates the immune system and tries to block the immune systems. And that's incredibly important because what they found is if they take away this capability from the virus, then this virus can be used as a vaccine for other viruses. And so it's now being used and proposed and it's in trials for a vaccine for HIV. The center has world-class faculty with highly distinctive careers and research interests in cutting edge areas of immunology. Uh, they have synergistic and collaborative interactions with the California National Primate Center which is adjacent to it. And given this uh, highly uh, productive scientific environment, I thought that my research would be a perfect fit. And I would have an opportunity to grow as a scientist and hopefully be involved in an effort that could someday impact public health. Now our funding supports well over 100 research faculty, students and staff, creating a rich academic environment for all levels of learners, from undergraduates to professionals. Our programs, including a number of NIH-funded grants, have educated hundreds of scholars who have continued on to have careers in education, research, and industry. One of the most important things I've learned from the CCM is to have an open, collaborative um, nature to research. I sort of think that the days of you know an individual scientist toiling away at the bench by himself is over, and. You know, the CCM really emphasizes 
uh, more of a collaborative approach. And then, so usually we start our day with a cup of coffee and we chat a little bit and catch up. Um, and it really does feel like a family atmosphere here, which is unique. I enjoy coming to the lab and knowing there's a possibility that I will make a discovery today and I will be the first person to know of that discovery. And I interact with a wide range of dedicated personnel from staff to faculty to junior researchers, talk science, make discoveries, and, and really impact the world around you. Our faculty members are all leaders, world-class leaders in their respective research fields. You know, we, we're exposed all the time to their approach to research, their experimental designs, how they think about science, how they approach their problems. It makes you feel warm because you've done something useful, not the least of which is helping the young people get their foot in the door, get started and have the same enjoyment we get out of science. Not, you know, it's not glory and prizes, it's the, it's the excitement and the fun of doing science and learning about nature and, and, and investigating how she does things. And if you can help solve a human disease and help prevent it, they educate all the better. Today, we continue to explore the link between animals and humans and chart a pathway for a better tomorrow. Because that's what science does. It illuminates our path to truth, and we follow.